Okay, I'm going to show you how to add a third extruder, but I want to show you a couple quick things quick first. This is a, a stepper board by, made by Yourbot. It allows you to do your uh, toggling of the MS 1, 2, and 3 right here. And then you have your pins to line up with your auxiliary. So uh, what I'm going to actually use is this one that allows you to do two and it's really simple. So let me review some pins real quick here. We have auxiliary two that we're gonna use and the pins are as follow. This one right here is the ground pin. This is uh, five volts. This is digital pin 59. This is digital pin 63. This is digital pin 40. This is digital pin 64. This is digital pin 44. This is digital pin 42. This is digital pin 65. And this is digital pin 66. Then on the board, we have digital pins for extruder one and two. What we have here is, it's hard to read, but uh, We've got our five volts. We then have our directory pin. Then we have our stepper pin. Then we have our uh, enable pin. And then we have no change pin. Then for X2 or extruder two, we have ground. We then have directory again, step again. Then we have enable and then we have no change. So to hook this up, it's kind of simple. What you do, watch the red strip on this. Basically plug it into your auxiliary two. Take the other end and plug it in the same. Now there is a difference with the potentiometer on the A4988. You're actually going to have it in the other direction on this particular board. And it's going to point down like it would be on a normal stepper except it's over here and your power is here. Whereas on this board it would be the other direction. So the next thing we want to do is add a stepper. motor wire and then before we actually power everything up so we make sure we're not going to destroy anything we're going to plug in the usb into the computer and see if i get a green light on the board which we do so we're going to unplug that for the moment we're then going to add first the negative cable which is right here. It's on D9. It's the third screw from the top. And that's going to go into the ground, which is on this side for this one. Tighten that down. Then we're going to put in the power cable. This is the plus side. Check it visually. And do the same over here. Now, once again, we're going to Plug in the USB, make sure everything is okay, and then we're going to do a power test. Looks good there. So now we're going to attach the power to the board, and we're going to throw the socket in the... And it appears to be everything is fine. 
So I'm going to unplug this for the moment because we don't need it for programming. And I'll show you how to set it up on the computer. Okay, with the Marlin folder open, version 1.1.6, we're first going to edit pins. This is going to be kind of simple. So we're looking for pins, not pins.h, but pins underscore ramps.h, because this is a 1.4 board. So we've opened up the file. Now here's where your driver pins occur. So you have your steppers for your X, Y, Z. You have your extruder one and extruder two. Notice how they're E0 and E1. So the first thing we want to do, is we want to copy E1. And then we want to modify E1 to E2. Now all these references where you see E1 underscore CS underscore pin, that's chip select. We're not going to use that in any of the steppers. So you're going to comment those out. Okay, now we have to change the pins here. So the first pin is going to be pin 40 for step. For dir, it's going to be 63. And then for enable, it's going to be 42. So you're going to save that. You're going to close the ramps file after you've saved it. You're then going to open up Marlin. So here's the solution file. You're going to go to the configuration.h tab. You're going to first scroll down for boards. You're going to change this to EFF, so it's saying two fans. Then you're going to scroll down to extruders. You're going to change it from one to three, and you're going to uncomment single nozzle. You're going to hit Control S for save. You're then going to compile and upload the file to your ramps one point. Okay, upload is now complete. So the next thing to do is go to Pronterface. So I'm going to close this. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is open up Pronterface. Inside Pronterface, we have no other option for an extra extruder. So we go to Settings, Options, Extruder Count, change it to 3, click OK, close it. Reopen it, click connect. Now we have the option for the three extruders. We're using extruder two, which is 012, so that would be the third one. We're gonna plug in the power supply for the 12 volts. Gonna go over to the send portion. Gonna type M302. S0, press enter. That'll change the temperature for the thermistor to zero so there won't be a minimum. And then we're going to press the extrude button and see if it uh, actually works. So 
So it looks like it worked. Now let's try reverse and see if that works. So if you like my videos, please press the like button and subscribe. And thank you for your time.